Hey, what's up, guys? It's a Sports Blitz here, and we're back with the 2022 NFL Draft first round grades. The first round is officially over, and it was insane. I have never seen this many trades in the draft. Um, I I don't even know exactly how many trades there were. It seemed like every other every other team picking was a trade. So it was really exciting, a lot of fun to watch. So uh, yeah, we're going to go in and put in some grades for these picks. Um, unfortunately, NFL Net Network or whatever doesn't show what the exact compensation for the trades were. So we're going to be kind of grading it more just off of, you know, the fact like, hey, was this player worth trading up for? And yeah, kind of go from there. So um, yeah, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And uh, yeah, starting with number one, Trayvon Walker. I I like the pick. Honestly, I think he has a higher ceiling than Aiden Hutchinson. Um, he may not have quite as... He doesn't have quite as high of a floor as Aiden Hutchinson, but I think he has a way higher ceiling. I really like his potential. So I'm going to give the Jags an A. I mean, I think I think they got the pick right. I think he, I think he's good. So Aiden Hutchinson, I mean, kind of best player available, to be honest. Um, they really needed some pass rush help anyways. But, I mean, again, he's got a really high floor. I just don't know how high his ceiling is. So it's really hard to tell. I, I don't think he's necessarily going to be a type of guy that gets you like, you know, 12, 13 sacks every season. I think he's going to be kind of more in that like seven to 10 sack range um, and be decent in the run game as well. Um, overall, I'm going to give the Lions. I'm debating between an A minus and an A. I'm going to I think I'm going to go ahead and go with an A. I mean, still a good pick. I don't know that there's anyone else there that would have been a better pick for them. So, yeah, I'm going to go with go A. Number three, Texans taking Derek Stingley. I really like Stingley. I am actually really high on him. I I like him more than a lot of other people do. Um, But I do think Sauce Gardner is a little bit better, would have been the better pick. Um, I also think it would have been smart for them to maybe address offensive line. Um, so Derek Stingley was just kind of a surprising pick. I don't think it's a bad pick, though. So I'm going to go ahead and give the Texans a B for that one. Four Jets going Sauce Gardner. This one was a little surprising, but I mean, I've been kind of saying all offseason, I think the Jets need to you know, consider addressing their secondary. A lot of you Jets fans got really mad at me for, um, you know, even considering that they need corners. I, I kind of just said, I'm, I'm not a big fan of their corners right now. And sauce Gardner's a really, really good player. Um, I, I think this was an awesome pick. I'm going to go ahead and give the Jets. I'm going to give him an A. Um, I mean, there were other players here. They could have taken KT. They could have taken one of the top tackles. Um, I mean, really, they could have taken Jermaine Johnson as well. You guys know how much I like Jermaine Johnson. Um, but Sauce is an awesome player, and I think that's deserving of an A. Number five, the Giants. Um... Now, ultimately, they got the players that I kind of expected them to get. They got Evan Neal and KT. I was kind of surprised they took KT before Evan Neal, though, because where the Panthers were picking next, if I was the Giants, I'd be a little bit worried that maybe Evan Neal wouldn't be available um, right there. So I probably would have taken Evan Neal right there and then KT at number seven. Um, but overall, I'm going to just give the Giants, I'm, I'm going to put those picks together and still, I'm going to give the Giants an A. I think they, 
I think they nailed those picks. Number six, Carolina Panthers taking Icky Equonu. I really liked the pick as a Panthers fan. Um, I think their offensive line is a lot better than it was from last year now. Um, so definitely, definitely huge upgrade right there. I, as a Panthers fan, I kind of wanted Malik Willis, to be honest. Um, which, if you didn't watch the draft, spoiler alert, he fell out of the first round. Really surprising for me. But, yeah, I, I really wanted Malik Willis. But I love Icky. He's my number one tackle. So I'm still going to give the Panthers an A-. minus. Um, just that minus is because... I think with how bad they need a quarterback and how much I like Willis, that's why. Number s- we already talked about Evan Neal for the Giants. So number eight, Atlanta Falcons going Drake London. Um, now there was no doubt in my mind about them, you know, needing, um, or, or yeah, needing to draft a receiver. My question is just getting Drake London in general. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of him, honestly. I I don't think Drake London is honestly I think he's about the the fifth best receiver in this class. I mean they could have taken Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, uh, Jamison Williams, um, even Traylon Burks. I I'm I'm a bigger fan of Burks than Drake London. So there were other guys available. So I'm gonna give the Atlanta Falcons a B minus. Um, or you know what? Actually, I'm going to give him a C plus even lower. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of him. I'm really not. And I promise this isn't like, you know, any bias because I'm a Panthers fan. I just, I really don't like Drake London. I don't think he's that great. So I'm going to give him a C plus nine Seahawks. I thought they were really smart in getting a tackle. I think Charles Cross really, you know, fits their, you know, their blocking schemes. I really like it. I'm going to give the Seahawks an A. Uh, Jets going Garrett Wilson, my number one receiver in the draft. Um, Excellent route runner, super fast. I think he's going to really help Zach Zach Wilson's production. Um, So overall there, I'm going to go ahead and um, give that pick a... I'm going to give him an A. Yeah. Um, 11 Saints getting Chris Olave. Now, I actually mocked Chris Olave to the Saints, and I think it's an awesome pick. I don't know if they necessarily should have traded up for him, though. I mean, they could have sat there at 16 and probably gotten him right there. Just just, just my just my thoughts right there. Um, so for that, I'll dock them just a little bit. I'm going to give them an A-. minus. But I do love Chris Olave, and I think he's an excellent receiver. So A minus for the Saints. Twelve Detroit Lions going Jameson Williams. They traded up, um, and really, they gave up the thirty second and thirty fourth overall picks to the Vikings. Um, a surprise it was a divisional trade. That doesn't really happen much, but. Yeah, I gave that up for Jameson Williams. I liked the aggressiveness. Um, I think I kind of like Williams in the Lions scheme. Um, wasn't really one that I considered much in a trade scenario, but I kind of kind of like the idea of Williams in the Lions scheme. I'm not sure that I would have given up two second rounders for it. Um, I think I'm going to give it a B plus, but still really good player i think i think he's still worth trading up for just don't know that i would have given up that much value so 13 eagles going jordan davis they did trade up uh two spots to get him i think it was needed because i think the ravens probably would have taken a strong look at him right there at 14 so i think it was warranted um i really like i really like davis um, I know a lot of people are saying he doesn't fit the Eagles scheme. Guys, I've got confidence in Davis. Okay, I don't think he's going to continue being a, a two down defensive tackle. I think he's going to play all three downs. I think he's going to get better at pass pass rushing. And 
I think he's really going to help out the Eagles. So I really like him. I'm going to go ahead and give that pick an A. Ravens getting Kyle Hamilton. That's also an A. I mean, he's a top 10 player in this draft for me. Um, awesome pick for the Ravens. 15, Texans going Kenyon Green. Now, I wouldn't call this a bad pick by any means. I really like Kenyon Green. That's a lot of rhyming. I promise that's not intentional. <laughs> um, but I really like Kenyon Green. Um, and really, I felt like they needed a little bit of offensive line help anyways. Um, I feel like they honestly probably could have traded back even farther if needed. I'm going to go ahead and give the pick a B plus. Um Again, really like him. I think I think it addressed a need. Um, but there's also guys like Zion Johnson available. They probably could have traded back, waited a little bit on him. But again, not a bad pick. B plus. 16, Commanders trading back to get Jahan Dotson. Um, I like Jahan Dotson. I, I like him quite a bit, actually. But I think taking him before Traylon Burks and also like trading back back when both Chris Olave and Jamison Williams are on the board. I think that's kind of a dumb move personally. So for this specific trade, yeah, I'm going to take that into consideration. I'm going to go ahead and give that a C. Um, again, I like Jahan Dotson, but not at 16 overall. Um, considering who else was on the board, you know, and they didn't really need to, they didn't need to get that or make that trade. I mean, I just, yeah, I don't like it. So 17 chargers going Zion Johnson. I really like that. I think that makes for a nasty offensive line for the chargers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that an a, I really like Zion Johnson. Um, Titans Titans traded away. AJ Brown to the Eagles and got Traylon Burks but they also got back a third rounder. Um, now it sounded like AJ Brown kind of wanted out anyways. <clears throat> so I'm going to give the Eagles an A for trading for him. You know, and then they also extended him. Maybe I can make a video on the trade grades later on, but um, for the, for the pick itself, like I give the, the Eagles an A um, Titans. I know it sucked for them having to trade away a player of that caliber, but also getting a third rounder in return, plus Traylon Burks. I mean, I really like Burks. I really do. I think he's comparable to A.J. Brown, to be honest. Um, very similar players. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and give the pick an A-. I, I like it. I know a lot of other people probably don't like it as much as I do, but yeah. Um, 19, Saints going Trevor Penning. Um, now this is actually a a selection that I had in, I think it was my, pre I, don't, I don't remember if it was my predictive mock or what I would do, but I think that's going to be kind of their plan to, to replace Tron Armstead long-term. Um, I like him. I'm not like a huge fan of him though. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one I'm going to give it a B, okay? Cuz I think it I think it does address a need and he's a solid player, just not one that I'd say they knocked, you know, like 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 completely got a home run. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. 20 Steelers getting Kenny Pickett. Now this was a pick that I it was so hard to decide it was so hard for me to decide whether the Steelers would go quarterback or not. But I did feel like if they did go quarterback, I really felt like it would be Malik Willis, um, you know, because he was on the board because the whole talk this offseason was that Mike Tomlin absolutely loved Malik Willis. Um, but I do really like Kenny Pickett. I think he's the most pro ready quarterback right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give that pick. I think I'm going to do a B plus just because, you know, Malik Willis was still on the board and, you know, they, 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 they could have, they could have gone, you know, in other directions like Tyler Linderbaum, Devin Lloyd, whatever. Um, 
but Pickett is not a bad pick, so I'm going with a B plus. 21, Chiefs trade up to get Trent McDuffie. Um, I like that trade a lot. I think they need corner quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and give that one an A-. minus. 22, Packers going Quay Walker. I like Quay Walker, but not this much. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and give that a D+. Plus. Worst pick um, at this point in the draft. 23, Bills trading up two spots for Kyrie Lom. Personally, I didn't think that the Bills even needed to make this trade. So I'm going to dock it just a little bit there. But I do like Kyrie Elam. So I'm going to go ahead and go... I'm going to give it a B plus. 24 for the Cowboys. They get Tyler Smith. I think Tyler Linderbaum would have been the better pick if they were going, you know, with an offensive lineman. But I do like Tyler Smith. He's a solid player. Um, so I think overall, I'm going to go ahead and give that pick a B. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it a B. 25 Ravens. They've been all over the place with trading back. I don't know how many assets they've acquired, but doing that and still getting Tyler Linderbaum, I think that's awesome. A plus. I, I think that's insanely good. 26 Jets getting Jermaine Johnson this late in the draft. Also an A plus. I think he was very much worth the trade up. I've had him going number four overall multiple times to the Jets. Absolute steal. Love the trade. So, yeah, A plus right there. Jags trading up for Devin Lloyd. I'm going to give that an A. I, I really love... I love Devin Lloyd as a player in general. And, I mean, Jags going out making a move for him, you know, after he fell a little bit. I love it. I'm going to give it an A. Packers... Um, I really felt like they should have gone receiver, but I do really like Devontae Wyatt. He's a very underrated player in this draft. I'm going to go ahead and give it a B. Um, so yeah, 29, Patriots going Cole Strange. Not a big fan of Cole Strange, to be honest. Um, he's not one of my higher graded offensive linemen. I'm going to go ahead and give that a D. Um... Chiefs go George Karloftis. This one was pretty predictable to me, to be honest. Um, solid pick. I'm going to go B+. Plus. 31, Bengals get Daxton Hill. Um, I predicted it was going to be either him, Nicobe Dean, or Jaquan Brisker. And I was right. It was Daxton Hill, one of those three. I think he's an awesome player. Really helps that defense. I think that's going to be an A-. minus. Then the Vikings... Personally, I like Brisker more, but Lewis Seen is really good as well. So I'm going to give that an A- minus as well. So these are my first round draft grades. This was a crazy draft, like just absolutely insane. Um, had a lot of fun watching it. So I, I, I hope you guys did as well. But let me know how you thought your team drafted. You know, let me know if you... If you thought your team reached on a player, made a trade they shouldn't have, let me know. Um, but smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.